Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Handshakers episode 4. Now, uh, you probably see from the title, I do not have very good things to say about episode 4 of Handshakers. More so, I don't have very good things to say about this show. I'm starting to finally go into this mindset that this show sucks, to be honest with you guys and girls. And I know some people, I know a few of my friends would go, well, why are you watching a show just to critique it? That's terrible, blah, blah. Yeah. I give a show a fair shot. I will always watch a show for the most part from beginning to end. And, you know, it's very rare that I typically will say, no, I'm not going to watch that or I will completely drop it. Um, as many of you know, that's why I have so many anime watched under my belt. The thing is, though, is that with shows like this at times, yeah, stuff like this happens and it makes it harder to watch something, really. Um, I, I akin this to uh, Taboo Tattoo in terms of how shitty it's getting. Uh, episode 4, I'm just going to put it in a nutshell, and I, I think that this title right here, this this little screenshot I took, but things have, there has to be a way for some things to mesh, right? Which again, our main character says mesh again for the millionth time. Oh, there should be a mesh drinking game. Don't actually do that, but there should be a mesh drinking game where people drink every time he says mesh. At least maybe once an episode, you probably get drunk to a point. Maybe that's not this episode, because he only said like once in this episode, but the other episodes, he said it a lot of times, so... I'm tired of him saying that. Uh, honestly, though, this episode was very stupid in terms of everything. The fight between him and the uh, the shadow, uh, shadow and blade group, where it was that you know that lowly looking girl and the uh, the her business partner, they're fighting, and it was very simple. All of a sudden, he he says like, "Oh, I know how to fight," even though I've only been in one fight. I could fight so well, and all of a sudden his hair goes white. He's able to make the sword even stronger. He's able to fight the guy, win perfectly against him, no issue whatsoever. Uh, the the uh, couple, per se, I want to call them the couple even though they're really not, but the business pair, go up to them and apologize after the whole thing's over because they feel bad. They didn't realize Katori's situation, like how she, you know, they have to hold hands and stuff like that. Um, they kind of rail on the guy, the professor, that he doesn't tell them that they have to name themselves and all that, and even more so that walking around in public with their hands together is going to make them obvious handshakers if that wasn't even obvious already to begin with. You know, I, I just want to say that this show is beginning to really, really piss me off. Um, besides besides the issues with the whole episode, because I don't think it was a very strong episode regardless, I have issues with a lot of the pacings already. I, can, I have issues with a lot of the characters because they're trying to act serious and then two seconds later aren't serious. Um, you know, the whole fact that he can now, like, do this thing where it's like, oh, I know how to fight. Yeah, they're probably going to explain that because maybe she has some fighting experience and then because they share memories via handshake, which which is what they do, they actually are, maybe maybe she's transferring memories of past fights in them or something like that. But well, besides even that, this just is, is a dumb, dumb story. And even more so, the animation is getting really cheap in some areas, and I noticed it, where the very opening moments of the show, um, it, it didn't look very good. It looked pretty bad. It looked on par with Berserk's, you know, CGI, which is really at times very bad. And I know I'm not, I'm not trying to rail on Berserk because I don't really want to do that. But Berserk, had, you know, 2017 had some really bad CGI at times. Of course, obviously we all know that in the anime community. But this had a few scenes in this that were really so weak and so poorly animated that I'm like, is this supposed to be what they consider great animation? I'm like, what? It, what the hell is this? I think it has to do with the, you know, the whole fact that they're trying this whole new style with the show that it, it doesn't work at times. It works sometimes and then other times it really just does not look good at all. And overall, this whole show is kind of akin to that. So, yeah, I do apologize for the short review, guys and girls, but I don't really want to talk about this too much because, honestly, I just kind of hate this episode. And I'm kind of hating the show, to be honest. But I will keep bringing you guys episode reviews unless you really don't want me to, and I'd be like, okay, that's fine with me. But um, you can tell me in the comments below what's what's going on. You know, like the video, share the video, you know the whole nine. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to be reviewing Nanbaka today, so I'll see you there with that. Bye-bye, everyone.